Okay, welcome back. Now the demo that I'm gonna do, I'm calling uh, levels of water, oil, and alcohol in a YouTube. I'm starting out with a YouTube here, and it has uh, colored water in there. Basically, it's just regular water, but it is with coloring. And so the density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter. I'm going to take some alcohol and put it on one side of these tubes, right? Then the, the density of isopropyl alcohol is 0.786 gram per cubic centimeter. Right, and then I'm also going to be taking some vegetable oil, right, regular vegetable oil, and the density is 0.92 gram per cubic centimeter. And then I'm going to be asking the question, well, if I put different amounts of them on uh, either side, right, and then as they sit on top of the water, how will these levels of the water and uh, um, oil and the alcohol adjust themselves? Uh, and then we can do some calculations and see if our answers are correct. So let's take here about... 25 cc's, 25 uh, cubic centimeters of alcohol. You notice here that it mainly sits on the top of the water because it is less dense. See how the levels are adjusting? So the water, the water level is here, the alcohol level right now is here, and the other water level is there, okay? So I don't want to put too much, let's say about that much, okay? Okay, then I want to take some oil and then put it on the other side. Okay, so this is about good enough. Okay, so it's a really good uh, uh, problem, a good physics problem. So you see the oil sits on top of the water right here, and then the, water, the alcohol is here, and then the uh, alcohol is there. So we can put a tape here so we can see better. Okay, so then we can measure the, the height of the the alcohol and the oil level is okay. Okay, and then on the right side, we have the water is a bit down like this, and then the alcohol goes up all the way even higher than the top of the oil. Okay, so it goes up till here. This is the alcohol. Okay, so let's measure the distance cooler from, uh, from here to here. That looks like it's about 17 point, 17.3 centimeters. So this could be a good physics problem. The problem can give you the density of the alcohol, the density of the oil. It can give you the the height of the oil, the height of the alcohol. Then you could ask either, you could ask what's the difference of the heights of the, the water level. This is the water right here. What's the difference of the heights of the water level? So calculate this distance, we can call it X, right? Or you can ask what's the difference of the heights uh, between the top of the alcohol and the top of the oil? Well, once you can calculate what X is, you can also easily calculate what this distance is, right? So either one, the problem can ask you. So let's actually do the calculation and see if we get the right answer. So the idea is that if the, the pressure here and the pressure here must be the same, right? The water pressure, okay? So the atmospheric pressure at the top is the same, P atmosphere, P atmosphere. So that means the pressure down here, we can call that P1. P1 is equal to P atmosphere plus the density of the, this one is alcohol, times the gravity, times, uh, we can call it the height of the alcohol here, the height of the alcohol. So then uh, that's gonna equal P atmosphere, plus density of alcohol, which we can put as 
0.786 times 9.8. And then the height of the alcohol was 17.3 centimeters. Okay, this one I don't really need to change to uh, meters, uh, so it's eventually going to cancel out. You can see uh, why in a second. Okay, and then the pressure here we can call it P2, right? So then uh, the P2 is going to equal the P of the atmosphere on the top plus the density of the oil, right? So density of oil times gravity times the height of the oil plus the density of water, right? Because you got to go here, this is the pressure of the atmosphere, you got to go through the oil, then you got to go through a little bit of the water, plus the density of water times gravity times the height of the uh, water, right? So then we have P2 is equal to P atmosphere plus density of oil, which was 0.92 times 9.8 times the height of the oil, which is uh, 11.4 plus density of water, which is 1 times gravity 9.8, times the height of the water, which we're calling x, we don't know. Then set these two pressures equal to each other, right? Set those two pressures equal to each other, so we have P atmosphere plus 0 0.92, 9.8, 11.4, .8, plus 9.8x, right, this one, and then we're gonna set that equal to, uh, pretty much we're gonna set it equal to this one. The P atmosphere plus uh, 0 0.786, 9.8, uh, 7.3. Now notice what happens, the P atmosphere cancels, right? And then you just get basically this equation, 0 0.92, 9 .8, 11 .4, plus 9.8, 11.4 plus 9.8x, and even gravity cancels, right? So 9.8, 9.8, 9.8 cancels. So you basically get 0 0.92 times 11.4 plus x is equal to 0 0.786 times 17.3. Right? So that's it. You can just solve for x easily there. Right? So there should be a difference of 3.11 between the bottom of the water here and the bottom of the water here. Now, if the problem asks what's the difference of the heights of here, that's also easy to calculate. If this is 3.11, you add it to 11.4, right? Together they get 3.11 plus 11.4, and we get here 14.54, right? <coughs> So then you subtract that from 17.3. 17.3 uh, minus 14.54, okay? So this top is gonna be 2.76 centimeters, and the bottom of the water levels is gonna be 3.11. So it's basically the same idea. Okay, so I'm getting 3.5, 3.52% error, 11.6% error. So what are the good sources of error here? What are the sources of error that could be causing uh, uh, a percentage difference? Okay, there's all kinds of good uh, sources of error and if this was a lab, you could do a good write-up on it. Um, so one of the sources of error is just simple measurement error, right? The fact that I'm measuring it and I'm, uh, I have to make sure that I am horizontal when I'm measuring it, I'm measuring it correct. So that could be just simple measurement errors. Second sources of error is that I am relying on the density of the oil as given by the website. So I looked up vegetable oil, right? And uh, it said, okay, density of vegetable oil on the average is 0.92 gram per cubic centimeter. Well. That is a big source of error, right? What's the better way to do it? I have to weigh the oil, find out the volume, divide the mass of the oil by the volume, and in an actual experiment, that's what you would do. You would calculate the actual density of the oil that you're using, and you would base it on that. Same thing with the alcohol. I'm relying on whatever the website is saying, so I have to also weigh that, divide it by its volume, and then find out the density of that, and then use that. Other than that, is there other sources of error? Probably so. When You notice when I was um, putting the alcohol and the oil in there that there was some mixture. Some of the alcohol was maybe going in and mixing with the water, and some of the oil was also going in and mixing with the water. So it's not a complete where the oil completely sits on the top and the alcohol completely sits on the top. There's a bit of mixture as you're pouring it in and the uh, water kind of gets uh, tainted with some of the oil and maybe with some of the alcohol also. There's a bit of that. So those are primarily the three sources of error, relying on the density as given by a website 
and also maybe some tainting, some mixture, and also measurement errors. But other than that, 11% error is actually pretty good. So you can see how to do problems like that. You can have two liquids on top of each other. You can even have that, and you can do all kinds of problems, right? I could even put a little bit of the alcohol on the top now. All right, put a little bit of the alcohol on the top of the oil. All right? So then I could even do a problem like that now. Now the liquid levels have uh, arranged themselves. So this is way up here now. Okay? So now the water levels adjusted themselves. This side is now higher up. Right, so what you would do on this side, you'd have only alcohol, right? So the, I didn't change that one, it's 17.3 centimeters. Here I have alcohol, then I have oil, right? So then I would say, measure the, the length of this. So I would say the density of alcohol times the length of this plus the density of oil times the length of that. Then equate that equal to the density of alcohol times the 17.3 plus this little amount and you can solve for that. So you could have as many liquids on both sides that you want, and you could be able to solve problems like this, okay? So I hope you learned a lot from this kind of a good experiment, right? And you could actually do, perform this in your schools and your homes, and you can compare the results that you get to the theoretical result. Thank you very much.